why you have hiatus hernia. In this video. Why do you have hiatus hernia? So, the question is, why do you have hiatus hernia? A lot of people might think that, it is caused by an outside blow, and by straining to lift a heavy object, but, this is not the common cause. It has been found that, 80% of hiatus hernia occurs, in adults over the age of 45. Many people that have a hiatus hernia, don't have any symptoms. And, the symptoms that some people have, can be related to acid reflux, or heartburn. A hiatus hernia can occur, when the esophageal hiatus has been stretched, and there is no actual tear in the tissue. This stretching, can occur from weakness in the lay, or it can be that the hiatus is larger than normal, just from genetics. When these are the cases, then, it is expected that, the lay and its opening will stretch more as you age. Two types of hiatus hernia. Two types of hiatus hernia occur frequently. Here is what your esophagus and stomach should look like, when you don't have a hiatus hernia. Your lay valve and your stomach, are slightly below your diaphragm. When you do have hiatus that protrudes through your lay valve, this is called, sliding hiatus hernia. This happens, when part of the top stomach pushes into your esophagus. In this condition, the lay valve is weakened, and you are more prone to having acid reflux. This condition is not severe, but, care must be taken, so the condition does not worsen. The second hiatus hernia condition is called, parasophageal hiatus hernia. This hernia condition is not typical. But, it is worse than a sliding hernia. When this hernia occurs, the esophagus and stomach remain in their normal position. But, when the stomach becomes congested or large, it can slide past the lay valve, and settle along the outside of the esophagus and inside the diaphragm the muscular area that lies between the chest, and the lower abdomen. There is a third type of hernia that occurs, when you have both the sliding hiatus, and the paraesophageal hiatus occurring at the same time. Cause of hiatus hernia The basic cause of hiatus hernia, is having an unhealthy body, which is caused by having a poor living style. It comes from a poor diet, a toxic body, unhealthy thinking, and lack of exercise, it is caused by having an acid body, where you have excess body acids, that are causing your body to be imbalanced in digestion, absorption, and assimilation. This results in a weakness in organs and muscle tissue. If you have a weakness in the lay, or the lay is larger than normal, you will be more prone to hiatus hernia. Also, if you have a poor lifestyle forming a hiatus hernia, is more likely to occur. When there is a weakness in the lay, due to excess stretching, body acids, genetics, or poor diet, then the lay value can be further weakened, when you have excess coughing, reaching, bending, and lifting. All of these pressures work to weaken the lay further and over time the lay can open when it should not. When this happens, parts of the nearby stomach can move into the stretched lay opening. When the lay opens, it also causes acid reflux. Acid reflux and hiatus hernia, go hand in hand, but, they can also occur independently of each other. If you have hiatus hernia, then, chances are that you probably have acid reflux. More reasons for hiatus hernia. There are many other reasons, why you might have hiatus hernia. People who are in their late middle age, they tend to have a hiatus hernia, especially, if they have not followed a reasonably healthy diet. Once you determine why you have it, you can avoid doing those things, that have created your hiatus hernia. Here is a list of different reasons, why you might have this condition. Smoking. If you smoke, you are nutritionally deficient, and are more likely to have a hiatus hernia. Smoking, uses up your alkaline minerals in your stores of antioxidants, to eliminate the thousands of free radicals that you inhale. What you end up with, are a weakened body, and especially, a weakened esophagus and stomach area. With a weakened lay area, any deep coughing, can create a hiatus hernia condition. Constipation. Many people suffer from constipation. You may have one bowel movement a day, and still, suffer from constipation. If you sit in the bathroom for more than 4 to 5 minutes, and you strain and push to have a bowel movement, 
you have constipation. When you strain, you are putting pressure all along the stomach wall, and in the area of your abdomen. Weak Lay Valve With a weak lay, you can push a bit of your upper stomach in and out of the lay valve, as you strain to have a bowel movement. Overweight When you are overweight, your stomach is enlarged, stomach acid is diminished, and the lay valve is weaker than normal. Most overweight people are prone to hiatus hernia. Pregnancy When you are pregnant, the pressures on your internal organs increase. The stomach area and the lay valve get distorted, which makes pregnant women more prone to hiatus hernia. Excess eating When you overeat, your stomach will enlarge and move upward. If you have a weak lay, or your valve is stretched out of shape, you will end up with hiatus hernia. Allergies Food allergies can make your poor eating habits worse and add to the causes of a hernia. Tight clothes Anything that puts pressure on your stomach area can weaken that area. Wearing tight clothes or wearing a corset is not a good idea for good stomach health. Bending Here again, as you bend or squat, you increase the pressure in your abdomen. Over the years, this can create hiatus hernia. If you have poor posture when you sit or stand, this can affect the strength of your lay valve. Belching That occurs when you eat a mixture of too many foods, or as a result of constipation, or acid reflux, can produce hiatus hernia. Exercise Lack of exercise is a health hazard. When you lack of exercise, your metabolism slows down, your cells reduce their action, and your elimination channels reduce their activity. This is the best way to create an acid body, and set yourself up for disease, and hiatus hernia. Acid body Having an acid body, is the worst condition you can have, if you want to be healthy, you cannot have an acid body, and expect to cure any type of illnesses you have, including a hiatus hernia. An acid body, makes you prone to all types of diseases, and poor health conditions. To get rid of your hiatus hernia, you need to strive for an alkaline body. Diet Eating good healthy food, is necessary to maintain excellent health. A diet, covers everything you put into your mouth, whether it is food or drink. Eating nutritious food, will make your lay stronger, and keep it closed when it needs to be closed. This subject is covered in the next chapters. Stress Stress has a strong connection to the digestion of your food. When you have stress, the amount of stomach acid you have, may be less or more causing poor digestion of your food. Stress, can cause you to overeat, eat junk food, and stop you from having healthy habits. Look for ways to reduce stress, as this will be an important part of getting rid of your hiatus. Stomach injuries. Any injuries or surgeries, that affect the stomach or esophagus, will have a weakening effect on your stomach function. Smoking. Smoking, uses up the minerals you need, to keep your body alkaline. It increases stomach acid inflammation, and decreases muscle reflexes in the abdomen area. Lifestyle changes. Here are some lifestyle changes to consider. When making any changes ease into them. Make one or two changes, then, wait a few days, to make another two. You want the changes to become part of your behavior. Instead of eating three large meals a day, try eating smaller meals throughout the day. Eat your last meal, at least three to four hours before sleeping. If overweight, following the suggestions in this book, will help you lose weight. Eliminate or minimize drinking alcohol. When sleeping, keep your head slightly elevated, to prevent acid reflux. After meals, take a walk, and do not bend or lie down. During a bowel movement, do not push or strain. Using plenty of fiber, green drinks, and fruit smoothies, will make movement easier. Wear loose clothes, to prevent pressure in the stomach area. Final thoughts. Let's go on to the next video.